Hello. So we are back. Monday. And uh, we have a laptop to be fixed. Okay. So we have a HP laptop not turning on. The charger is plugged in. So it's no light. You can see. And the charger is fine. Let's test that just to be sure. So we have 19.6, you can see on the screen, it's no power, I mean, we have no light here, okay, and if we press the power button, nothing will happen, pressing the power button, nothing will happen, yeah, we have some lights here, LEDs, which are off, okay, so this one is dead, let's try and open quickly and try to fix it, if we can. Hopefully it will not be a frozen bias, it will be a shame. I know we have few screws, I'm not sure if they are here. Oh yeah, it's one there. One here. Okay. And I believe here are more. Yeah, there are like three here. Okay. Well, let's try and open this. It's an i5 10 gen uh, laptop. So it's not an old one. But well, who knows, maybe you have this laptop and uh, if you have the same problem, most likely you'll have the same problem. Just, uh, you know, to have an idea how you can fix it. That's plastic clips. And that's how is the laptop inside. I mean, it's nice. I can't see liquid damage anywhere. We have an M2 drive, RAM memory. Nice. Let's plug the charger. <clears throat> plug in the charger. Let's take some uh, measurements. So let's see. What do we have? So we have the plus of the charging port, the red wire you can see. And we have 19.6, okay? <clears throat> On the battery, you have plus minus. Plus of the battery, we have 3 volts. That's not good. That's mean the laptop is not charging. Now the next step. Let's try and see if our main power rail is present. Okay, so we have some power supplies. Probably those are dual MOSFETs and we have some capacitors here. And if you can see on the screen... We have 19.6. You see, this is a case when everything looks fine, but it's not working. Okay? So how we can fix it? Let's unplug the charger. Let's try to reset the BIOS first. Maybe that's the problem. If that's not the problem, we have to focus on the Super IO, our startup chip, and uh, start from there. I can't see any BIOS battery, so I suppose this battery is holding the BIOS on the, our startup chip. Plugging back the battery, plugging the charger, and it's still not working. Which, uh, Let's see, 15 volts, around 2 amps. Let's go with the voltage on the battery. Battery is taking nothing. Ah, okay. That's bad. Let's go on the Super I.O. and check some voltages, yeah?
Oh, okay, okay. Check the. What do you see between the pins? Huh? You know what? This this looks like a copycat. We we had a laptop uh, a few videos ago. Um, was was this was the same issue? Like a like a a drop exactly on the Super IO chip. Pretty insane. Now let's unplug the charger. Let's disconnect the battery. Okay. Let's take out the Wi-Fi card. Probably the the drop came from the back. From here. Hopefully the chip is still good and we can fix it. Nah, it, it's no it's no water behind of the the, the Wi-Fi card. Just because the water came from here, like straight there. Let's use some uh, whatever you have to clean it. Alcohol or uh, Zippo petrol. Let's see. Let's try and clean it a little bit. Let's see if it's clean. Remember last time we cleaned it and actually the bridge was still there between the pins? Same. Let's see. And I can't see any bridge. You can see bridge here? No. So I think we are fine. I mean, all what is left, the dry, the area, just a little bit. Let's connect back the Wi-Fi card. Good. Let's connect back the battery. Let's connect back the charger. And we have light. Yeah. So pay attention here. You can see the charging light. white light and uh, anyway charging light let's press the power button i'll try to hold the battery back power button we have power on light here yeah the fan is spinning probably it will take a while because we reset the BIOS, yeah. <clears throat> but we had a lot. I heard the window sound, <coughs> but no picture on the screen. Okay. I don't. I don't know if 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 you heard the, the window sound because my microphone has a um, audio gate, and uh, yeah, yeah, we have picture. And to reboot the system. Yeah, we have picture, it's fine. Okay, so this was just an easy one. Uh, but in the last period of time, and I don't understand why the manufacturer are doing something like that. I mean, the laptop is working. So you can see here, I mean, Okay, I understand. The computer has to cool down. It's taking the air from here. It's pushing the air out here. But why you are not fitting like a mesh just to stop the water to go inside? It's insane. So actually here is nothing. There are just holes. And again, I've seen these kind of jobs. Yeah, like dead computers because a drop of water go inside of... Uh, is cooling holes the same okay just an easy one so if you have this laptop which look even the model of the laptop yeah it's inside hp 14 is still here oh yeah it is it is on the back yeah 14 s dash dq one 
Q8NA. Fourteen S dash DQ a hundred eight NA. Yeah, that's the model. Okay, that's all for today. Just a short one. I'm still on holiday, but I'll be back probably from September. So uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.